What's going on guys? Today we are looking at Inform Biglia. 26k on the Xbox, 26k on the PlayStation. Relatively cheap, 84 rated Inform. CDM, Argentinian from AC Milan. Looking at his stats, to be honest, I weren't expecting a huge amount from him. Um, but we'll get into that later on in the video. So, let's get into it. Let's go for the basic information first. Then we'll talk about the attributes and the chem stars. So, we've got a three-star skiller with a four-star weak foot. He is right-footed and standing at the height of five foot ten, with a high defensive work rate and a medium attacking work rate. Overall, I'm okay with that, to be honest. The skill moves for a CDM... Don't really need a, a huge amount, to be honest. Um, realistically, you want to play this kid in CDM. Um, so the skill moves are not necessary for me. They are a nice little bonus, but to be honest, I'm more focused on getting that ball out rather than doing a skill move in my own area. So weak foot, I like that. Four stars, lovely. Um, I'm quite happy with that. Five foot ten. Not the greatest in height, but he does have, um, actually he doesn't even have any jumping to be honest. I thought he actually played alright in the air, but he is a little bit on the small side. But again, you've got Kante, you've got Casemiro, they're not the tallest of players, but they still manage. Um, to be honest, I'm quite happy with that. I don't think that's too much of an issue. Um, defensive work rate and attacking work rate pretty sound um you didn't really notice too much of that um if you're like me with a cdm role i like to keep them back and then personally i do have two other center mids or you'd have a left and right mid a cam and striker they're the ones that i want going up front realistically so let's get into some information on his attributes he's got 67 pace which isn't the greatest but we can still increase that by i think by 10 with a shadow if i went with that it is 10 isn't it oh no we can go by 12 so that can be used in a, in a more, I don't know, more effective way. Um, he's got 73 physicality, which gives you 63 jumping, 77 stamina, 66 strength, and 85 aggression. Personally, the stamina's, stamina is okay. Not the greatest. I would look to possibly replacing him um, in the kind of last, what, 10 minutes of the game, um, or 15, if say, and then possibly into extra time as well. But... It does the job. I think if you're going to play smart with him, um, don't really just run at absolutely everything. You can save a lot of um, the stamina there anyway. Um, strength, to be honest, I did find a little bit lacking. Um, didn't really shove off a lot of players. But the aggression is where I found it a little bit more interesting as he did manage to get to win more challenges than possibly the strength battles, which is always nice. Then we move on to the dribbling stat of him. He's got 83, which gives you 77 agility, 79 balance, 81 composure, dribbling, and reactions, and then an 86 ball control. So we're hitting some better stats here. Personally, overall, I don't know how this kid is an 84. Um, none of the stats are actually above 84. Um, and to be honest, you're, you're only got one, two, four, five stats that are either 84 or above, and they're, they're the in-game stats. So... Personally, I don't know how he did manage to get an 84, but we'll still roll with it. The dribbling is a, a better aspect to this card. I felt like he was a bit more composed on the ball than most um, and really did play that ball out really nice and nice and well. So then we go on to the passing element of him. Another uh, another key area in this, in this card, to be honest. 81 vision, 75 crossing, 88 short pass, 84 long pass, and 72 curve. Again, you mix that dribbling and passing together and you have quite a nice well-rounded passer dribbler kind of player is that yeah that, that's not really a good analysis of him but he's very composed at passing it out is what i'm trying to get at he will he, he may not win every single ball but he ha if he does he will not flop and he's actually decent at distributing it to the the necessary players going forward so i'm quite happy with that obviously the shooting doesn't really matter so we go to the defending he gives you 84 interceptions 82 marking 80 standing tackle and 75 sliding tackle. So not the greatest of defensive stats, but we'll get into the chem styles as, to be honest, for me, Shadow is the hands-down winner for this. Um, realistically, you could go with Anchor as well. Um, doesn't get the pace up too much, but it will get the physicality up just as much, um, as well as getting the uh, the defending up just as much as the um as the shadow does so if you do an anchor you'd get 72 pace 87 defending and 77 physical if you should just do a shadow you'd get 79 pace and 87 defending so realistically it depends on what you want i don't expect the cdms to be 
masses of pace, but it's always to have that little bit of nice kind of sprint speed, bit of acceleration on him um, to make him get by. And obviously the defending stat is nice to get up there as well. It would give you 94 interceptions, 92 marking, 85 standing tackle and 90 sliding tackle. So that's always nice. Personally, they're the two I'd choose, either a shadow or an anchor. Personally, it depends on what you want him for. If you think that you need more of an assist with it when it comes to defending, I'd probably go for the shadow just for the little bit more pace. It gives you that little bit of a, of a safety net that he is a little bit faster. Personally, you don't notice a hell of a lot in the difference because it's only, what is it? It's only a six, seven difference. It's not majorly improvements kind of like that, but... It's always nice to have it, and you. I think it's psychological, really. When you see the stat and you know what you've got, you kind of you expect more from him. So, I'd say them two are my favourite for him. So let's get into what I liked, what I didn't like, and an overall rating for this card. So for me, the pace was a little bit lackluster. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Kadira um, with the the kind of slow slow element of him. Um, I did notice it quite a bit, but. I think it does come back that you do have a really nice defending on him with them chem stalls. So he does make up in that aspect. I thought he was very solid tackling. Um, obviously, you get that FIFA EA where you you tackle him and then suddenly they've got the ball again. You tackle him, they've got the ball again. So you, you do get that and I, I do find that happens quite a lot anyway. So that that's with every player, to be honest. So you can't really judge him based on that because that is pretty much... You could have prime moment Zanetti and that would still happen to you. But I did find that was a nice little kind of equaliser when it comes to pace and defending. I found that his defending was actually quite nice. Passing and dribbling, I thought, average, but they're better than anything else on this card, realistically. He was very composed on the ball, um, very comfortable, very good at dribbling um, when it came to dribbling away from players and getting the ball out to, another, to, to a player going forward. The passing obviously coincides with that. Really, really nice at getting them short and long passes out. Um, really good at distributing to them wings, which was absolutely fantastic. So, overall, I thought he was very average. I did think I did think that for twenty what for twenty six and a half k on the Xbox, you could pick yourself up personally a better player in the centre mid UCL Allen, who's eighty five rated. I think he's two k more, and you get a little bit better stats for me. Or if you really liked kind of that sort of style, Kadira's there uh, for 26k as well, the 86 version. You've also got Matuidi who's also there. Um, if you was looking possibly for more CM, you've got Nine Golem, you've got uh, Pajanic, you've got Hamshik. All there available for either cheaper or just as much as this card. So personally for me, the competition that he has at the moment and how the market is... Obviously, if he weren't, if the SBCs weren't out, this card would be at least 20k. But obviously, with the SBCs, it does rise the informed price just that little bit, a little bit more. Um, so it kind of, it makes them a little bit harder to actually use in a team because you're paying that five, six k more, sometimes ten or twenty k more than what actually it would be for a card that you can get a better normal version for. So that is the issue that I've got with these, but. I'd say he's definitely worth a tryout. Obviously, he's got Argentinian uh, nationality in the Serie A. That's not terrible. It's a good linking card. You've got a few cards that can definitely link with that. Obviously, he can link to a nice uh, centre-back partnership in Benussi and uh, Chiellini. Uh, I'm just trying to think. Who is he for? AC Milan also. So you've also got... I'm trying to think who even AC Milan have got. Obviously, they've got Donnarumma, who is absolutely insane this year. Um, I can't wait for his team of the season. He's got to have one, realistically. I can't see them not giving him one. But overall rating on this card, I'm giving him a 6.5. Overall, there is a lot of players that are better than him for the price as well. Whether you want to use him in an informed team, I'd, again, I'd probably say there's better. Um, if you've got him in your red picks, it's a nice SBC card. I, I'd say that very much. is is one of the cheaper ones. Obviously, you can link him with a lot of players. So is a potential linker. Obviously, there is a few other players that you could possibly put in as well into SBCs that don't cost as much as that. So, overall, very average, not not incredible in some aspects. His passing and dribbling is probably his standout, and then uh, defending with the chem style is a little bit better. But apart from that, a little bit lackluster for my liking. So, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like. I, I'm trying to be more critical. I feel like... I give everyone too much of a chance and I want to see what the reaction is to actually using a card that isn't that good 
and letting you know that. So let me know what you think. Do you like the critical aspect of it as well? I know that's the whole point of a player review, but I hate bringing you players that just aren't that good. So I'm just trying to spread that this card isn't amazing and there is plenty of other options. So that's why I will go into some depth with him, but I also will offer suggestions to the CDM role especially or the position that this player is in. So let me know down below what you think. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content. Hopefully we'll see Foot Birthday if not or already out or out or whatever, depending on when this does go live. And I'll see you all again next time. Peace.